asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms. Multicellular organisms have complex body structure with tissues specialized for particular functions. Cell by cell division to reproduce as seen in unicellular organisms is thus not possible in these organisms. Hence, reproduction is more complex in multicellular organisms. Types of asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms Fragmentation Regeneration Budding Vegetative propagation and Spore formation Fragmentation Fragmentation is a form of asexual reproduction in which an organism splits into fragments. With cell enlargement and subsequent mitosis, each fragment grows into a new individual. Fragmentation is the normal mode of reproduction in the filament of Spirogyra Regeneration If a planaria is cut into several pieces, each piece develops into an individual planaria. This is the process of regeneration, where specialized cells proliferate to produce large number of cells that differentiate into various cell types and tissues and a new organism is produced that is genetically identical to the parent. In higher organisms like vertebrates and flowering plants, regeneration takes the form of body repairs where wounds and damaged cells or tissues are replaced with new ones. Budding Some multicellular organisms like Hydra reproduce by budding. A protrusion or bud develops from the stalk of Hydra and grows into a miniature Hydra whose body cavity is continuous with that of the parent Hydra. The miniature hydra gets nourishment from the parent and grows. When the young hydra is sufficiently developed, the base is sealed off and it is detached from the parent body to grow as an independent individual. Vegetative Propagation Vegetative Propagation is a type of asexual reproduction in plants whereby new plants are produced from the vegetative parts of the plant that is roots stems or leaves without the production of seeds new plants grow from roots of sweet potato from potato tuber from leaves of bryophyllum Spore formation Spores are formed in plants such as fungi, example bread mold or muca and certain algae. In molds, the spores that are formed in the sporangium are released when mature and germinate to form new molds under favorable conditions. Spores are formed in ferns too.